Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Panier and the vlog. So, map of the stores, we have had to buy some uh, hay, we've run out, but um, that's okay, it's not cost us a huge amount of money, but uh, definitely better than uh, better than the animals going starving. So we've got four, six, six bales and yeah should keep them going until we cut the grass again. Uh, as you can see there is snow on the ground. It is March. Uh, it's been quite a heavy frost last night um, so pretty chilly uh, but it is meant to warm up as the day goes on so yeah we're just uh, biding our time until that happens so I thought well may as well feed the animals this morning and then you can move on to other stuff once the ground defrosts a little bit. Um, things we need to do, uh, we need to get into the grass field here and get some fertiliser on it and then other news since the last vlog is that I have bought two fields. So I bought the alfalfa field that we were talking about, field over near the mustard uh, field at the one and the, the one we had the cover crop in and then I also have bought the big grass field which is uh, over yonder so um, we'll show you on the map in a second um, so the easiest thing to do here will be just to reverse this up next to the fruit trees and uh, There you go. And we'll just stop there. So yeah, the the other field is the one over there. The one I talked about on the grass field. So yeah, it's um it's not looking too bad. Uh I think the farmer looked after it pretty well uh before we took it on, but yeah, it's um I think yeah, in a month's time it's going to be absolutely perfect for cutting. So it's this one here uh, and takes it down to the water in the river here. So um, yeah, so we'll get in there at some point in the spring and we'll get this cut as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we should have plenty of food for the animals after that. So what I'll do is uh, I will get some bales organised and then, yeah, we'll get the uh, feed and mix a wagon uh, in position and yeah then we'll uh, start making some fodder okay I've got one um, silage bale out I've unwrapped it so it's ready to go we've got the feed mixer here we've still got some straw there as well and uh, yeah I think well we'll just use these two bales on here uh, and that should do the job. So let's get these in here. Okay, that's those two in. And then what we need to do is we need to get the silage in. Get that one in there as well. Oh. There we go. So that's in there as well. And then finally we need to get some straw in. Now it looks like the snow's melting, so that's a, that's a good sign. Let's get this in here. And I think, yeah, quickly have a look. 
I can. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'll leave that over here. And uh, yeah, let's get this feed into the into here. So, as you saw at the end of the last episode, we've got another another few cows. So we've got um, we've now got twelve cows uh, doing their thing in here, and. Yeah, things are improving, so we've got a little bit more manure and a little bit more slurry, and then yeah, we are producing milk as well. So the other thing I did off screen as well is yeah, we've got someone in and they have now plumbed our trees in, so we have got an irrigation system for our trees, and uh, yeah, that's all fairly self sufficient with water. They're starting to get buds on the trees, which is good, so it won't be long till we can start producing fruit. Um and uh yeah, doing our doing our thing. Uh I think yeah, so that has stopped. Um that is now empty. You see the wee dial on the up there and yeah, I guess probably next job will be to do some fertilization. Um, but before we do that, just wanted to quickly check on the sheep. There we go. Leave that there. So yeah, the sheep um, are doing doing their thing but we do need to move them um, we'll actually just we'll walk along it's not too far uh, yeah the sheep are doing their thing but um, it's kinda yeah they're not not being very productive in this this uh, this pen so I think yeah we're gonna have to move them um, sooner rather than later but that's fine uh, they're still all doing their thing and they've still got plenty of food and water uh, but yeah they're not uh, not looking that healthy so yeah we're gonna have to get them get them into their proper grass pastures sooner rather than later I think so I think what we'll do uh, we'll move forwards a little bit uh, we might see in the second week in March and then from there we will yeah hopefully get into the fields and get some fertilizing done so we'll see you next week all right so on to the second week in March and uh, yeah the weather's improved somewhat so we may as well get into this field and uh, get this grass fertilised or second coat of fertiliser on it should I say oh my spatial awareness isn't very good today it should be okay like that I think right so we'll get this going and uh, hopefully yeah, get that second layer of fertiliser on here which will make all the difference and yeah in theory April will get this moan and then get the sheep in here as well but uh, yeah I was looking at the other grass field and the other grass field is uh, looking pretty good actually doesn't need anything doing to it so hopefully should all be okay A little bit close to that uh, fence. There we go. 
So as I said, um, yeah, once this is fertilised we're all good. What I do need to do as well, it is planting time for sunflowers. So I said we're going to put sunflowers in that uh, bottom field next to the mustard. So what we're going to do is we're going to rent uh, a planter because we don't have one for one and I could buy one but I may as well just buy a cheap or rent a bigger one if that makes sense and it means the job will get done quicker as well so if we do that um, then hopefully we can get that done this afternoon uh, the weather forecast is pretty good so kind of makes sense to get on it and uh, get that get that done as well And then obviously it'll need rolled and we will need to yeah see if it needs fertilizing as well but if I rented a planter with a fertilizing capability then that would be all the fertilization done which would be good so what I'll do, I think, is we'll set this up as a time lapse. We'll get the the drone up above so you can see from above, and uh, yeah, we'll get the get the rest of this field fertilised. I think. Okay, it was obviously going to take more than one tank of uh, fertiliser to do this field, so yeah, let's get this uh, filled back up again and uh, we'll move this out of the way as well. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's get back onto this. So, unfortunately, we were finishing a row when we got over here and it just ended on us. So, out here, there we go. And we'll get the, the rest of this row done. And 
and then what we'll do we will start from down in this corner and we'll do the lower part of this field it shouldn't take us too much longer to do this and I've kind of already done this bit so it shouldn't really take much to do this bit of fertilisation and then yeah straight across from here and we'll just do this lower part but it shouldn't take too long um, so I think what I'll do is I'll finish off this field and then, yeah, we will, well, we'll see up at the, the dealership and we'll go and get ourselves uh, a planter to hire. But yeah, I reckon another 10 minutes or so we'll have this field finished. Right, see you very, very soon. Okay, that's that field, 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 uh, fertilised, so the grass is all done. I've taken the fertiliser sprayer back to the farm, as I have done with the IBC, and as you can see up here, we have the Arion, and we have rented ourselves a nice big planter, so the Cavernaland, um, we're going to get this filled up. I've already bought some fertiliser and some sunflower seeds, so they're to go in. And yeah, we'll get this uh, filled up and uh, down to the field. I am hoping, well, hoping the fertiliser will last the whole way, um, but what I will do as well is we'll probably end up taking taking this all the way down to the uh, down to the field so we can get it uh, filled up as well so we'll get all these uh, bags in here there we go and then what we need to do is get the seed in as well. And get that connected onto there. And yeah, next job is to get this filled up with seed as well. So get that into there. and yeah in theory hopefully that is enough for the field but might get another fertilizer actually uh, and just top that up but we have the seed there ready to take down to the field if we need to so I'll buy another set of uh, another pallet of fertiliser and we'll see you down at the field. Right so we're full of fertiliser and seed so let's uh, let's get this down to the field and I think you need to spin around yes we do So we'll get this uh, into position. About right there. And yeah, then we'll just get ourselves connected up. So by using this, it's going to speed the process up. There is a rain forecast again this afternoon. So yeah, we're going to have to get a, a bit of a wriggle on and get it done. But um, 
Let's get it turned on, lower down. I forgot to fold, uh, fold up the transport bit. There we go. Okay, so should be okay now. And uh, let's get into this field. Runs at a decent speed as well. This so all in all, we should should do okay. So. Yeah, sunflowers in this one, mustard in that one, and then, yeah, I think once we've got this field done, that's all our fields prepped, isn't it, I think? Farmer's been busy in that one by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, once uh, once we've got this field done, oh well, once we've got it uh, sewn, we'll, we'll get the roller on it and uh, get all the get all these little stones pushed in, and uh, just create a much nicer seed bed for for the crops to grow. But this field should be fully fertilised uh, once we've planted this, should be good. Get this in position again. And away we go. So it's not going to take us long at all, this, is it? So I might throw in another little time lapse just to get this done. And then, yeah, we will see you at the end of the field. I might keep hold of this uh, planter for, uh, for any um, contracts as well um, that might crop up. We'll see. Uh, it cost me 4,985 euros to hire it, so it seems a bit of a waste just to use it for one field and then give it back, so, so maybe we should uh, keep hold of it and use it for some contracts. I don't know though. Right, see you in a little bit. Okay, final little bit, and uh, yeah, it's got through this pretty quick to be fair, done pretty well. So, just need to do this final strip, 
hopefully I've not missed anything. I'll just quickly check on the way back up. And uh, yeah, next job is to get the roller on it. But uh, it's not took long at all, that, which is fantastic. Right, I'm just zoom back up this way. Just check we've not missed anything. Just a little bit there by the looks of it. But apart from that, I think we're looking pretty good. So, what we need to do is just unfold that again. Lower it down, drop it off. And yeah, cells hook it back up to this. There we go. So pretty happy with that. I think um yeah, well we've got uh got this cornfield or sunflower field done, should I say. And um yeah, it's not taking us long at all. So I think what I'll do is we'll finish the episode there. What I'll we'll go and do, I'll go and get the roller. We'll get this field rolled. And um, yeah, then I think next episode we'll bring you back in April. And yeah, I think there'll be a, a little bit of fertilising going on. And yeah, definitely some grass cutting. Because uh, we'll need to get grass cut and uh, baled into hay. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you are more than welcome to. But for now, from Panier, take care. And we will see you all very, very, very soon. All the best.